What up everyone, Zonbar here coming at you with another video. Today we're going to talk about the new patch that just got released. Uh, I believe it's the 7.13 uh, patch notes. Today I only want to cover the important parts which is champions, items and jungle uh, stuff. I can see that there is a Rift Herald change here. So I'm going to go over champions, items, jungle items and Rift Herald. Everything that is here isn't really important for solo queue or for like the game. It's like it's like not the major changes. But feel free guys to go check it out. I will put a link of the patch note down below. So the first update we have is Galio. Uh, we all know that Galio has been a very strong pick since the remake. Uh, it's been a strong pick in the mid lane. We've seen Faker play it in top lane. It's always been a good uh, pick uh, with very nice intervention with the R and overall very strong pick with lower mana cost than before and just better spelled for lane phase uh, and all that. So they decide to nerf the base armor to 24 instead of 27. So they try to nerf. Uh, it's laning face against 80 players. The Q spell has been buffed though with a better ratio which means that they're trying to upgrade Galio to a more late gamer mage I believe with less um, flat damage but like a way better ratio. So we'll see how this goes. One second and a half for the tornado thing still not changing. Very happy about this. I feel like Galio was getting tired in late game and you wouldn't do a significant amount of damage against like a carry that has uh, health regeneration. So it's interesting to see uh, the changes. And there are, it remains the same except that Galio channels for 1.25 seconds before dropping into the air. But the hover time is uh, is just reduced so the total time of you flying in the air and getting down is literally the same it's just that you'll stay longer on the ground and the animation will just go faster after that so not a huge change except that maybe you can take more damage I guess while channeling it that's the only thing but it's like a quarter second so I don't think it makes a huge difference the second champion is Gnar. We haven't seen a lot of Gnar in a while. I think that this is a champion that's been very popular when it got launched, but we're seeing some changes. We haven't seen that in a while. So, the Q spell uh, in mini form, the boomerang throw, is getting increased damage, which is very nice. It goes from a top to 165 uh, flat damage from a 125, which is very good. It's upgraded on at every single level, so throughout uh, early game or late game, it's just it's just better. And the Mega E, so the Mega when you're big, uh, when you're the big Gnar, uh, the jump range has been increased, which is very very nice upgrade. I think that Gnar is entering uh, like the pool, the champion pool of the top lane now. I feel like this is really what it needed. Maybe a upgrade on the W would have been nice. Maybe a quicker animation uh, on the Mega Gnar W, but you're able to jump longer and a longer distance to put your ultimate and Q spell just makes your whole lane phase easier and your whole like damage aspect better. So very interesting and great. Next one is Kennen. So Kennen has been a very uh, flavor of the month I want to say champion. We've seen it playing in AD and AP. Uh, it's been absolutely insane counter of Yasuo in the top lane. It was like oh you want to counter Yasuo? Or just play Kennen AD you'll be fine. It was sort of that, and I thought it was such an interesting pick. I always love seeing, I always love seeing a meta where Kennen is picked. I think it's such an interesting champion, whether it's an ADC or an AD top or an AP mid. I think it's a great champion. So let's see what they did. So now the W has changed from a total attack damage bonus to an AP ratio and a bonus AD ratio, and some flat damage, which is a huge upgrade to a maybe very very interesting Kennen AD. That's such a cool upgrade. And it says that it was removed, the electrical surge now stacks when Kinnan fires a basic attack instead of an off on hit. Rune and no longer grants extra stack. Okay, so basically you can play Kinnan AD, but you don't build Rune and Hurricane. It's funny because they build Hurricane and then they start like denying ways people are doing Hurricane. Like it's funny, it's really like, I don't want to do that. I feel like Rune is such a risk for a player to buy, he should at least get rewarded by it crazy bonuses like that. I feel like it balances out more than anything. And a small upgrade on the E, the Lightning Rush, which is not a damage based spell. Usually you don't use this to make damage except to clearing waves, but you rarely like go over people with your E. Uh, but they're upgrading 
uh, two point uh, the AP ratio. So we'll see how this changes. This is still a good upgrade. I'll take it. Next one is Kha'Zix. So Kha'Zix is a, still a champion that we see in the jungle, at least that I see in jungle uh, in my elo. So I'm not surprised to see it being changed. Uh, the Q damage is being decreased uh, by isolation bonus, but isolation bonus is increased. Our stealth duration increase. So let's see what they actually did. So the base damage of the Q spell is going down a little bit, like a little bit, tiny bit. Maybe, yeah, 10 points per level. The ratio on the bonus attack is going down as well by one point, but the isolation bonus is plus 65%. So that's a huge, huge, huge uh, buff, I want to say, to the Q spell. Like, Kha'Zix is such a good assassin, and I feel like his whole like signature move is just to attack an isolated target. This is going to be good. Maybe it will be a little bit harder to farm the jungle. That's what I'm scared of, and maybe it will just put off people from playing it at all. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see how people react to that. I'm actually curious. But in team fight, that sounds absolutely furious. Like, to be honest, that sounds like insane. And the R, so the Void, uh, Asshole, Invisibility Duration. Oops, oh, sorry about that. Asshole Duration, 1.25 to 1.5. So just the stealth duration is increased. Upon entering a bush while out of combat, Kha'Zix becomes invincible for 3 seconds. And, okay. Okay. So you're gonna have to play with bushes apparently, so that's that's really nice as well. Kindred is an amazing champion that has gotten so much hype when it got released, and since the nerf, I think two patch ago, two or three patch ago, it just disappeared. I haven't seen it since I got back into the league to be honest. So the passive increases the range more often. So Kindred's basic attack and mounting dread gain 75 at four stack plus 25 every four stack. Oh, it's going every three stack now. Okay, that's interesting. It's a cool, it's a cool upgrade. Maybe they're trying to get it back and maybe uh, getting back into the game. I feel like they want people to, like they're trying to upgrade junglers just to get, I think we're moving to a jungle meta for some reason. Like they want junglers that do damage and they want junglers to be more present in late game team fight. That's for now. That's very interesting. The W, so the whole area, one percent enemy of current health, additional damage per mark. Okay, that's super good actually. That's like additional sustain um, for her, like with more damage, one of current health. So it doesn't really affect the tanks or the front lane, but it's definitely something interesting. I guess like for overall bonus damage. And the E is the base damage is just higher at every level. That's actually really good. I mean, I think that Kindred players would be excited for that. I'm not a jungle player, by the way, so I'm not I'm not too excited for this. But I feel like there's a lot going on, and I can't wait to see what's going on on jungle items. So Maokai, best health is increased. Okay, so best health is just increased. R range is increased. So the R of Maokai is something that I haven't seen a lot, uh, but it looks very, very interesting. It actually looks like a Dota 2 uh, Ultimate, if you guys are familiar with this game. I don't remember the champion though. The cooldown is going down as well. Wow, like, wow. What are, what are they trying to do, man? What is Red trying to do? Like, I would, I always dreamed of just knowing, like, like they sit at a table and they start talking about what changes they want to make. I just want to hear it. Like I want to hear that discussion. Like what should we do here? Like should we do this? Should we do that? So that's very. I think that's very interesting. Like why are they doing this? Why are they doing this? Ultimately, I don't know. I don't. We'll see. Maybe Makai is not really popular. Makai is on the starting of finding his room on the rift. So we are giving him the key to unlock what the twisted Trion is supposed to do more of than and more successful. So maybe Makai isn't just as popular as they wanted to be with the update. So they're just giving him a little boost. So Poppy now, Poppy Q uh, health ratio up, so it goes from 7% target maximum health to 8% target maximum health. It's asshole insane. Good up on Poppy. I would have liked to see a CD uh, reduction on the R, but I guess we'll take it. I guess it also brings Poppy up in the in the gang. So that's actually really good for jungles. I think Poppy can definitely be played in jungle now. Even if that doesn't really represent a huge difference, but that's insane. And like, I mean, she can go back to top lane i guess but that's pretty cool what they're doing like they're trying to get a meta that is like more late game oriented and i actually like that because late game means like the team fights the ward control the baron fights all that stuff and that really looks good for lts entertainment and for solo q fun 
So Rex out here, Void Rush, AD Ratio, Increase W, and Board Speed Standardized. So the Q spell, Queen's Wharf, Stone Screw, when out of game, are hand handled better. Okay, so that's just a quick bug fix. The Buried W uh, now takes the same time to Unburied, whether you press W or auto attack. Knockback effect for um, secondary target, no longer lasts slightly longer than intended. Okay, okay, just a bug fix and a quick animation uh, fixed. Okay, and the Void Rush, uh, so bonus attack damage is going up okay so actually wow like they're actually trying to do a late game meta that's so interesting the ping grim circle okay i don't give a fuck about that okay good shaco don't tell me the upgraded shaco don't tell me the upgraded shaco please tell me the upgraded shaco please 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 so the e base damage is down oh fuck so i mean i'm pretty sure they're gonna upgrade the late game and they're gonna nerf the early game so base damage is going down ratio what? Oh my god. It's the E is scaling up at higher ratios and it has physical damage instead of magical damage. What the Oh my god, they're gonna make AP Shaco disappear. <gasps> What the fuck? What the fuck? That's, that's fucking wild right here. Now does that to finish him based on target missing? What? It's a finisher now? Oh, it, it already was a finisher. It already was a finisher. No longer does three uh, missing her based on character level. Now does up to 50% additional damage based on target missing. Up to 50%. So, let's say, okay, okay. It's really nice. That's honestly like props to Riot Games, man. We got AP Shaco out of the system, which was only liked by some Shaco player out there uh, that are probably like uh, not very friendly. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. But AP ratio on Shaco are gone. Interesting, right? Interesting. So let's move on to Trundle, but I'm very, very hyped about this. Trundle as well. So the Q can damage turrets. Okay. The W healing and regeneration hemp's increase and applies more quickly. So 24%, 25% was giving an increase. We're fixing the bug, okay. The target following chomp now has more consistent timing and scales better with attack speed. Okay, okay. Very, uh, very, very interesting. I think that's that's really nice. The increase uh, healing and regeneration. Maybe Chondo will have a better laning, and I can think of him as a split pusher now with the Q spell damaging turrets. That's gonna be that's gonna be wild. Like, are we gonna see a split pushing meta, or are we gonna see a jungle meta with a late game uh, emphasis on like team fights and barons and multiple drakes? And that's that's very very that's a very good patch so far. Like, very very good patch. So Xayah, double dagger, attacks locked out, now scales down with attack speed. So Q, attack locked out, now scales down uh, with the attack speed. That's, I don't know why they do that, but okay, okay, okay. After last patch changes, we figure out we could make it feel a little bit smoother to play as the game progresses. Okay, I think that's good. I think it's always, I mean, it's always nice. That's just like free bonus. Ramus says, okay, <laughs> are associating the scale with move speed. What? Shouts to you, right? Shouts to you. Oh, you update. Fuck this. So let's talk about items now. We're done. Hopefully, I didn't spend too much time on champions, but items are going to be changeable. It's a long patch, man. So Abyssal Mask it now builds with a catalyst of ions instead of Spectral Skull. We are having a, ch a more expensive total uh, in gold. No longer gives. No longer gives a uh, hundred percent base health regen. You get more health. You get mana now. So hello. Galio, what's up? Less ga magic resist. Less magic resist? Okay. I guess this is for Galio. This is this one is for Galio. 15% of damage taken from champion is gained as mana. Spending mana restores 20% of the health cost up to 25 per spell. So this is really like, um, it, it's what it looks like in Aram. In Aram, that's literally what Tear of the Goddess does. That's, that's actually really interesting. Adaptive, adaptive Helm. That could be a good thing for Rise as well. 
I don't like Denier Rise, by the way. Uh, yeah, I don't. And then if Helm, so we just get a bonus health. Okay, that's not very major. Ancient Coin, so actually a support chain. The Gold, uh, the gold Coin reward goes to 25, Mana Coins goes to 15 uh, missing mana. That's actually a really good upgrade. Nomad's Million Talisman and Eyes of Osis, okay, 40 gold and 15% mana. Okay, I think that's pretty legit, man. Like, wow, like. Is, and nobody using this thing now? Like, everyone is using the other ones? That's that's really, really interesting. So, gold rewards are being increased. You see, guys, we invest in gold for the light game. I see what you're doing, right? Uh, and this is not being changed. Jungle items now. So, we're talking about a pot potentially hypothesis that jungle are going to be the new meta. Uh, let's see what they did to the items. So, jungle items matter duration. Okay, so uh, plus 225 instead of 118 for mana duration in the jungle. Okay, that's that's a huge upgrade. That's a huge, huge, huge upgrade. Enchantment runic echoes with more mana in all jungles. The magic enchantment doesn't need to provide quite so much mana on its own. Okay, that makes sense. With this, it makes sense that to have this. But okay, okay, okay. So now the Bami Cinder. So the health is actually decreased by 80, which is a lot. But the gold is going down and the bonus damage to non-champion is going up. So again, this could help the split pushing mana that we talked about earlier. That's also very interesting. Enchantment, uh, Cinder, a uh, Hulk. Okay, so total time. You remember when we used to see all those people with Cinder Hulk? That used to be annoying, man. So half down, bonus half ceiling up, break even point is in, blah, blah, blah. Half is going down, okay. Uh, jungle blah blah blah, bonus half, uh, total cost is down, bonus half is up, mana regeneration jungle is up from what we see over there. Yeah, copied from above. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Just, it's, it's just an upgrade, basically. They want us to have less HP, but it's fine because, I don't know, it's fine. It's not that much, and maybe some runes with, like, health per level could compensate that if needed. Uh, look into that guys. So Sunfire Cape is always be is also being changed because well this is being changed accordingly nothing crazy just on the price. And I think that concludes it. Uh, you also have stuff for Rift Herald that is giving 100 gold instead of 25. Not a major deal just they want us to contest it because it's worth gold now. So they want to engage more team fights like they want to see fighting happening. And all of that, you can guys see it, you got the new skins for uh, SKTT1 uh, uh, Championship, Olaf, Syndra, Nami, Iko, Zach, Jin, we already know that, and the white skin for Koma. Uh, so yeah, that was my commentary about the patch, I hope you guys liked it. If you want me to do this every single patch, please be sure to let me know, I'll, I'll like to do it if it's something that you guys want. Uh, I do enjoy reading the patch by myself usually, like I, t I take time to like... Uh, go over it and just make sure I, I go from the perspective of what Riot Games thinks and what they want uh, So let me know if you guys like this video, please comment down below. I'll thank you so much for watching guys I'll see you for the next one tomorrow. Cheers